Hello and welcome to Short Story Scene. I'm your host, the Storyteller, and here we have a tale called Frost at Midnight by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The frost performs its secret ministry, upheld by any wind, the owlets cry. Came loud and hark again, loud as before. The inmates of my cottage, all at rest, have left me to the solitude which suits. Obstruders, musings, save that the my side, my cradling infant slumbers peacefully. Tis calm indeed, so calm that it disturbs, vexes meditation with its strange and extreme silentness. Sea, hill, and wood, the pulpous village, sea and hill and wood, with all the numberless goings on of life, inaudible as dreams and thin blue flame, lies on my low burnt fire and quivers not. Only the film with fluttered on my the grate still flutters there in the soul and quiet thing. Methinks its motion in the hush of nature gives its dim symphonies with me who live, making it compa- companionable form whose plenty flaps and freaks the idling spirit by its own moods and interprets everywhere and echoes a mirror seeking of itself and makes a toy of thought but oh how oft how oft at school with most believing mind presageful and i gaze upon the bars to watch the fluttering stranger and as oft with unclosed lids already had i dreamt of my sweet birthplace in the old church tower whose bells and poor man's old music ring and from morn to evening all the hot fair day so sweetly that it stirred and haunted me with a wild pleasure falling on mine ear most like articulate sounds of things to come so i gazed i till the soothing things i dreamt lulled me to sleep and sleep prolonged my dreams and so i boarded with the following morn Awed by the stern preceptor's face, mine eye, fixed with the mock study on my swimming book, save it for the door half open, and I snatched, and hastily glanced, and still my heart leapt up, for still I hoped to see the stranger's face, townsman or aunt, or sister more beloved, my playmate when we both were clothed alike, Dear babe, thy sleep is cradled by my side, whose gentle breathings heard in thy deep calm fill up the interspread vacancies and momentarily pauses of the thought. My babe is so beautiful, it thrills my heart with tender gladness thus to look at thee and think thou shalt learn far other lore and in the far other scenes for i was reared in the great city pent mid cloisters dim and saw not lovely but the sky and stars but thou my babe shall wander like a breeze by lakes and sandy shores beneath the crags of ancient mountain and beneath the clouds which an image in the bulk both lakes and shores and mountain crags so shalt thou see the here and lovely shapes and sounds intelligible of the eternal language which thy god utters whom from eternity doth teach himself and all all things in himself great universal teacher he shall mold thy spirit in the giving make it ask therefore all seas and that shall be sweet in thee whether the sum, summer clothe the general earth with greenness and the red breast still and sing betwixt the tufts of snow and bare branch a mossy apple tree all night thatch smokes in the sun thaw whether the eavedrops fall heard only the trances of the blast or if the secret ministry of frost shall hung them from the silent icicles quietly shining to the quiet moon and that concludes our tale frost at midnight by samuel taylor coleridge